Hi everyone, welcome to your full moon meditation. This month we've got a full moon happening in Satyabhishak Nakshatra in Aquarius on the 2nd of September 2020. I am recording this on the 2nd of September. I tried to be early this time, but the idea didn't come. And yesterday as I was researching the nakshatra, the idea came in. I'm like, okay, that's what we're doing. So apologies, it's a little bit late, but it would appear that it's perfectly okay, that it's on the day, so that's all right. I was looking at Rahu, because Rahu is the lord of Satyabhishak. Rahu is in a bright, beautiful, airy place. It's in Gemini. And it's bright in terms of the seasons, you know, and the northern hemisphere. So that's one of the things I was thinking about. I was looking at Saturn, which is an airy planet that's in Capricorn because it's Lord of Aquarius. And I was looking at the moon and I was trying to figure out, okay, what are we doing for this meditation? And what came through was really bright light and Lord Shiva. Now, Lord Shiva is actually, I had to do a bit of Google searching to find this one out. And there is a connection Lord Shiva has a connection with the 11th house Aquarius. And Durga has a connection with, with Rahu. So I really felt strongly that, yes, we, we're, going to, we're going to meet Lord Shiva in this meditation and we're going to sit and meditate with him. I just think that's going to be so cool. And I didn't know we were going to do that until last night that's when the idea came and I'm like oh okay that's what we're doing so let's get stuck in find a place where you can relax find a place where you can truly unwind and close your eyes you can be seated you can be in a chair you can be lying down on the bed you can be lying on the grass you can be outside wherever you like wherever feels comfortable for you. And we're going to take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. So we'll take a deep breath in and really feel all your muscles expand. So deep breath in. Hold. And on the out breath, let everything go. Let it all go. Let your day go. Let your worries go. Let anything you've been bothered by go let the state of your health go okay let every single thing go if things aren't going right in your life it's okay right that's just the physical dimension but you inside you are always okay you can always smile you can always laugh no matter what's going on and we're going to take in another deep breath deep breath in Hold and let it all out. <sighs> let everything go. Let your identity go. Let this earthly realm go. And we're going to find ourselves in a very pure place, just white light. Just see white light. Visualize the white light, nothing but white light. Feel your body emanating, strong, brilliant beautiful white light and feel the glow of this strong beautiful white light getting stronger and it's actively repelling and pushing away anything that is not compatible your brilliant white light is healing you it's in your body, it's through your body, it's outside of your body, it's absolutely everywhere. And we're now going to get ready to go on this little soul journey. It won't take long. And acknowledge to yourself, thank yourself for taking the time out to do this. This is a small luxury, a simple gift you give yourself this time and doing a meditation like this feel good about 
the fact that you do this for yourself because that's truly amazing. Through doing these affirmations and meditations, you are saying to the universe that you want to be a channel for peace. You want to be peaceful, you want to bring peace through, and that's wonderful. All right, so now we're going to get our imaginations going. So in your mind's eye... We're going to go to a beautiful place and as you open your eyes and your imagination you start to see through this white light an incredible scene stretch before you. And you're not sure exactly where this is but you know it's not Earth. You know, are we on the astral plane? Where are we? It's, it's not sure, but it's, it's, it's a big plane. It's totally empty. It's light blue in color. The land is kind of light blue and, and it, it's vast. It's, and you're in this scene now. You can, you can touch the ground beneath you. And what's incredible is that it's ice. Okay, it's ice. It's a little bit wet, this pale blue thing. This pale blue land, it's, it's ice. You're, you're standing on ice. And I don't want to worry you, but you're on ice skates. All right, now you're not going to slip, you're not going to fall. That is absolutely not going to happen because... Your angelic team is with you, they're all around you, and they've given you the talent and the ability to ice skate, all right? You could do a triple axel if you wanted to, okay? You've got the gift of ice skating in you for the duration of this meditation, so don't worry. And you're wearing these beautiful ice skates, and you start to glide. You start to glide on this incredible surface and there is nothing around there's just this kind of light blue sort of sheets of ice just all around you and this beautiful white light bit of a pale blue sky and it's not a typical blue it's not an earth blue there is i can't even describe what this is it's but blue is the closest word that I have. And you keep moving forward. And you start to see some black rocks in the distance. And you know, okay, that's, I have to go there. That's the only thing that's here. That's where I'm going. There's a brilliant sun in the sky that's emanating this wonderful white light. All the while you are healing. It's like the sun is healing you, you are healing. As you move, you can feel the vibrations of old things from your body are just kind of flying out behind you. You're leaving behind what you no longer need. You feel free. You feel easy. It feels really good. And the rocks are becoming more clear to you. You're getting closer. And in front of those dark rocks, there is an absolutely giant statue of Lord Shiva. And as you get closer to Lord Shiva, There are these kind of sounds that just start this sort of pulsing sounds or something. It starts to get a bit louder. And you're amazed. You feel the energy and you feel yourself kind of being sucked into the energy. It's a force field and it's drawing you in now. 
And you are just skating towards this giant statue. And on those dark rocks, you can see others have also arrived there. They've left their skates on the ice and they're sitting on the rocks. And they are seated and meditating in front of this statue of Lord Shiva, who is also seated and meditating. And you take off your skates, you find a nice seat, comfortable seat, close your eyes. Lord Shiva has basically invited you to be here. Everybody who makes it to these rocks has been specifically requested and invited. And you are one of them. And it's an amazing energy. It's so powerful. You get the sense that you're in the heart of the machinery of the universe because as he meditates with his eyes closed, he's basically, he runs and controls and does so much. It's like, it's like a CPU of a computer or something. It's just incredible, the energy. So much he manages and deals with and does. And in this energy, you get the sense that you are being cleared of anything you don't need. You are being recharged. Your mind and your heart is being opened a bit more, widened, so that you can be a stronger channel for peace on the planet. And at the same time, you're being made more physically robust and more grounded so that you can accomplish a lot on the earth plane. And the gentle mantra comes into your mind. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya And you know that any time you want to be in the presence of this magnificent Lord. You just need to keep chanting Om Namah Shivai over and over again. Now I'll be silent for three minutes to let you chant Om Namah Shivai as many times as you can. And at the end of that three minutes, I'll ring a bell. And you can come back into the room.
All right, now if you're ready to come back into the room, I'm going to ring the bell and when I do, slowly come back into the room. Wriggle your toes, maybe wriggle your fingers and lift your eyelids. And I'm wishing you a very beautiful September. Remember, you are a channel of peace. It's a choice that we can all make at any time, but you are because you're here doing a meditation like this. So I completely know that you are 100% a channel of peace. You're a pure, beautiful soul. Keep having faith in yourself. Keep believing in yourself. I know you can achieve whatever you want. And I just wish that you know you can achieve whatever you want. So take care. I'm going to ring that bell now. Have a wonderful September.